It's been a while since I even tried to do a, a live, actually. It's been a long, long, long while, I must say. Don't mind how I look. I'm just having one of those mornings. Um, so, I hope everyone can hear me. Can you all hear me? I hope you can hear me. Um, so, uh, the reason why I um, decided to go live today is that I have been getting a lot of, um, how can I say, messages uh, 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 about um, uh, the last uh, post my wife put up about uh, her depression and all that. And... Uh, I just wanted to put that out in the open, you know. Um, I have uh, realized everything that she's been going through. And in all honesty, I just want to be open to the world, South Africa, for everyone to know why all this is happening. Um, the main reason uh, my wife is going through um, her depression, I should say that all of it, all of it is because of me. I am the reason why she has been so depressed for so long. And the one thing that's the worst is that I haven't been there for her. Um, the reason uh, for her to go through her depression is all the things that I have been doing in our marriage. Um, it all started from the beginning of our marriage where I, 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 I wasn't good. I wasn't a good person. I wasn't, I wasn't the right person. I was just, yeah, I was just bad, very bad, very, very, very bad to her to a point where as when we started she ended up losing her job she a, a lot happened you know i did a lot you know i would say i've been very 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 emotionally abusive i should say and it took me a while to see that that i i i am actually doing this to her um, I have said a lot, I have done a lot to her, you know, and the one thing that's so s sad is that I, I, I keep on doing it and it's like, I'm not fixing, I'm just making things worse, you know, um, um, it, 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 it doesn't help. I am doing this on social media because this is the one place where she's mostly attacked. She's mostly attacked by people on social media. She's mostly attacked by journalists. This is for you, Nick. She's mostly attacked by journalists. She's mostly attacked by uh, 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 the people I talk to on my social media and all that. So uh, that's why I'm bringing it out here to also show her that it shouldn't be something where I secretly apologize between the two of us, but it should be for everyone to see, to hear. So, yeah, I, I've done a lot, you know, to a point where I have been talking to exes on my phone, using Facebook and all that. And that has really put a strain on her. And the one that the one thing that hurts me the most is that I haven't been like I haven't been there for her in this whole ordeal. I was just focused on work, I was just focused on DJing and not actually being home 
to help her to a point where she ended up now taking antidepressants, which is something that doesn't help. So I'm coming out now to everyone who has been doing this, who is doing this to their partners, that it's, it's just not right. It's not cool. It's wrong. It's bad. Because at the end of the day, you, 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 you're just destroying a woman who just wants to love you, who just wants to be there for you. And I'm calling out every man out there who knows that they're doing this to their woman to just be there for her, be there for her, protect them. Because nah, no lies, I, 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 I haven't been there. And it, it, it becomes scary now once you see your partner now not being able to talk to you, but now end up going to social media to reach out, and that's 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 just wrong, you know. I've 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 done, yo, yeah, yeah. I see that for me to now push her to a point where she is now at a point where she's now taking antidepressants is actually not helping, but I have been making the situation worse. You know, I've had exes now texting her and telling her things on social media, things that I, I don't even understand why they are doing this. And I'm taking it out now to tell the world that, yeah, this is what I've been doing. And this is me taking a step to say that I'm going to be here for her. I'm going to support her through this whole ordeal. You know, I have been verbally abusive towards her, you know, you know, come back drunk from a gig and things would just irritate me and then I'd start be verbally abusive to her, emotionally abusive to her and uh, that's something that, uh, that it's just not right, it's just wrong, you know, th there's many instances where this has happened where at times uh, you'd wake up in the morning and you don't even remember the things that you did yesterday, but you have to take responsibility for them. You can't put them on 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 on, on alcohol or or you being emotionally unstable and all that. But it's you, the person who is doing this, and you need to take responsibility for that. And that's what I'm doing today. I have put my wife in a position where I wouldn't want even my worst enemies to be in. And I am coming out publicly to her, wherever she is right now, because she's out. I'm coming out to her and to her family and to everyone that I humbly apologize for everything that I have done. And I will do my level best to make things right for her. It, it, it has been a long journey, a very long journey throughout all the things that I have done to her. You know, from years ago where I ended up making her, you know, lose her job to a point where I I I made her lose a lot of things that she owned, you know, and I just I just want to make things right. And I want things to be right. I want things to be good between us. And I hope one day everything will be good. And I hope I can be able to do right by her at some point. You know, it's... Oh. Yeah. I'm just, <laughs> I'm broken by this. I'm broken, you know, the sleepless nights where I should be crying and all this. And uh, I'm not there for her, haven't been there for her. And I've come and sat down and read depression and understand and try to understand what it is. And I see that things that I've done to her, I am destroying my wife.
and these are things that one shouldn't do to someone that they say they love. I humbly apologize to my wife for all the things that I have done. I humbly apologize for the Facebook and texting girls and uh, 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 being like emotionally, verbally abusive towards her and all those things. I I do. I really do. And from today onwards, I will be taking responsibility for things that I have done. And I hope that one day she will forgive me. I hope so. I pray to God she does. Because now this, this has just got out of hand for me. It has. It's, it's just too much. Yeah, but thanks, guys. Um, yeah, I just wanted to put that out there. So that uh, I've been getting this text from people trying to ask what's going on, why is your wife like this, what's going on and all that. So I just wanted to put it out there, you know, and to also show her that I am humbly sorry for what I did and the things that I have done. I am very sorry. Truthfully sorry. So yeah. Um, 